When I sit at my nail art table, I feel great because I love to work on my nails. I feel like a queen. Hello, I am going to show you how to do this simple cute flower design that anyone can do. I am going to be very detailed and show you all of the nail art secrets for this design. What you will need. You should have some kind of easy to clean palette or disposable surface that you can put blobs of polish on. When I was a beginner, this really helped me. You will also need at least three different nail polish colors, which includes one background color and the other two colors to make the flowers. I am using white, yellow, and red, but you can use whatever colors you want. You also need cotton balls to help clean the nail polish off of the dotting tool with some nail polish remover. Which means that you need a dotting tool, or a toothpick, or a ball part of a needle on a pencil. Don't laugh, but I used to use a pencil with a pin when I started because I could not find a dotting tool. It got the job done pretty well, but I definitely prefer a professional dotting tool now. You also need a top coat. Let's begin. Paint a thin layer of polish covering your whole nail. I am using white. If it's not opaque enough for your liking, then you can always add another coat. But make sure that it's still a thin layer because we need it to dry. While wow, my nails are drying, we'll have a quick music break. After the base layer is completely dry, then you can take a blob of a different colored polish and put it on your palette. I'm using red and yellow. Dip your dotting tool into the second color, which is yellow for me, and put a circle in the middle of your nail. Then, clean the dotting tool with some nail polish remover on a cotton ball and dip it into your third color, which is red for me, and dot five circles around the middle circle for the flower petals. Let it dry as you admire your masterpiece, and once it's dry, you can put on a clear top coat to seal it in, and make sure that it would last a long time. If you are enjoying this video, then please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. It would really mean a lot to me. You can have different variations of this design when you have mastered the single flower. You can use different colors. Ooh, that is so pretty. You can also try putting a small bead in the middle. I am using a little white pearl. All you need to do is put a blob of top coat in the middle. You can use your fingers or whatever works for you. I am using a wax pencil. You can also make the whole flower using studs or little beads. You pretty much do the same thing. You put globs of top coat wherever you want the center and the petals of the flower to be on your nail and then put the bead right on top. You can also use nail glue and there you go. Seal it in with some top coat. You can also make different sized flowers using different sized dotting tools. As you can see, the dotting tool on the left is bigger than the dotting tool on the right. So if I wanted smaller flowers, I would use the small dotting tool, and if I wanted bigger flowers, I would use the big dotting tool. 
Here are some tips I learned from personal experience. For a more professional look, try to make sure that you master the art of getting enough nail polish onto the dotting tool and applying it perfectly to the nail. You do not want too little polish or too much polish on the dotting tool because that will not produce good petals. Additionally, make sure to clean your tool with a cotton ball soaked in nail polish because after using it for a couple of dots, the polish will dry and it will make it harder to produce perfect circles. You need steady hands. If you have shaky hands, you can rest both of your hands on a table and just move your fingers for more control. Also, cut down on the caffeine. Be patient and practice. It looks easy when I'm doing this because I have been doing nail art for a while. And I wish someone told me this information I am telling you now because it is not as simple to get perfect results as it seems. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more. As always, if you have any questions, you can send me a message through my Gmail or my Instagram account.